In a previous video, we did a refresher on G.I. Joe Classified Series Sergeant Stalker. So this time, we're going to talk about G.I. Joe Classified Series Dusty. G.I. Joe Classified Series has put out another Dusty action figure. This time, it's a Tiger Force Dusty, but it's just a recolor of the same Dusty that we previously had. Nothing has really changed. So, I'm not satisfied with that build, so I decided to make my own version. But this is not Tiger Force, just a Woodland Dusty. So, let's do a 360 view of this action figure. So, before we discuss parts that I used for this build. So what are the original G.I. Joe Classified Series 1 Dusty parts on this action figure build? It's going to be just the head and the FAMAS rifle. So all of the other parts on this action figure build comes from different action figures and accessories. Okay, so what are the changes on the G.I. Joe Classified Series Dusty Rifle or the famous FAMAS Rifle, French Military FAMAS Rifle. So it's just going to be the position of the bipod. So it is now on a retracted position instead of a lowered firing position. And somehow that lowered firing position that um, came out of the box, uh, it would always be hard to uh, display the action figure because of that lowered position. You have to play with that bipod, look for a position that it looks good. But with this kind of uh, retracted position, I just um, softened up the plastic with high heat hair dryer and molded it this way before gluing the legs of the bipod to the side of the upper assembly of the rifle so that way it's not going to hinder with how the action figure is going to hold on to the rifle so giving the action figure a doable firing position so the FAMAS rifle is a dusty thing. So that, that is, is something that you really identify dusty with. So the other uh, characteristic that you identify dusty with is going to be the helmet with Havelock. So the Havelock on this helmet, uh, by the way, that helmet is Action Force Valvers. And this time, instead of uh, goggles, this has night vision optics. So the Havelock is instead of a molded plastic that is soft goods material. So it is attached on the underside of the ballistic bump helmet by Action Force Valavers. So let us first identify body parts that I used for this action figure build. So the head sculpt or the head unit comes from G.I. Joe Classified Series Dusty. But the neck and the peg that comes from G.I. Joe Classified Series Recondo. The body, the arms, the gloves that comes from G.I. Joe Classified Series Tiger Force Duke. The man briefs, the legs, boots that comes from G.I. Joe Classified Series Sergeant Stalker. So this time, let's identify accessories that I used for this action figure build. So the helmet and the night vision optics that comes from Action Force Valvers. Well, the soft goods material or the Havelock that comes from an old shirt. So nothing really fancy. So the Y harness on this pistol belt that comes from G.I. Joe Classified Series Lieutenant Falcon. The pistol belt that comes from G.I. Joe Classified Series Tiger Force Duke so with the holster but the pistol that comes from your gi joe classified series crimson guard now the last accessory on the belt is going to be of course the binoculars of duke and these two comes from gi joe classified series tiger force duke 
So just finishing touches on this action figure. So let's start with the color. So Tiger Force Duke. This color used to be red and that used to be white. So with just a little bit of acetone and a Q-tip. So I took off the red color on the color and the white shirt. So this section is painted black. Nothing really fancy, just your standard nail, black nail polish. Easy to apply, easy to take off, and dries easily. Okay, so the Havilac, that is nice. Soft goods material, doesn't interfere with the articulation point on the head and on the helmet instead of goggles. It doesn't need goggles because, of course, it's a woodland or jungle environment. Goggles is not needed only in desert environment, but he needs night vision optics. So, why do we only have a single night vision goggle on this helmet? So, let's put it down actually. So, why the single lens or the single optic? Well, it at least does the has the other eye for natural night vision. So he has complete night vision using the optics and his natural eye. So that makes sense. Um, if you're operating in a woodland or a jungle environment. So for those of you who served, you know what I am talking about. So this ends my review of my Kitbash Custom Modified or whatever you want to call it G.I. Joe Classified Series Dusty Action Figure in Woodland Camo Pattern. So it could even be a Night Force Dusty because of the night vision goggles and darker uniform. So if you like this review, like, comment, and subscribe to help me grow my channel. And see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review.